All right, that is it for Open 49ers training camp. It has come to an end finally as we wait to see what's going to happen with 49ers Brandon Ayuk. But let's talk about what happened at practice today. The good, the bad, you know, kind of the meh. Today was kind of a meh day, I would say, in regards to production stuff. Um, obviously, we found out there was some roster transactions that happened uh, before practice. Tariq Owens was waived with an injured designation. I guess he had a small fracture in his hand. Safety Eric Harris was also uh, let go as well. And also, the 49ers added two guys. They added a wide receiver and they added Keyshawn Vaughn. Um, he is a former Tampa Bay running back. He looked actually kind of solid, and then uh, he fumbled a pitch in the end of practice. So it was a, a bit of an up and down for Keyshawn Vaughn. But anyways, um, in regards to uh, pra also at practice today at the end, uh, you could see Robbie Chosen Anderson working out with the team. So I won't be surprised if we get a notification here pretty soon that's saying uh, he's been signed. It was one of the most low-key like fastest workouts i've maybe ever seen because after practice we see workouts all the time there was a whole group of dbs working out and they're going through a ton of drills and with robbie it was a lot different you had like a group of people around him tanner mordecai was throwing to him he ran maybe a handful of routes and that was it so uh it was an interesting one, so that must have just been like, we just need to see that you can still move. And if you can move, then there's a good chance we're gonna sign you. So I would not be surprised if Robbie Anderson gets signed today. Um, if we had to talk about best players of training camp, I would say Diamador Lenore was the best defensive player of this uh, training camp this year. I would say Debo Samuel was the best offensive player of training camp. And then I would say rookie, the best rookie of training camp was Dominic Pooney because he seems like the only guy who has currently locked down a starting spot. And he's actually played phenomenally well um, in those instances. So in regards to some of the things that have happened at practice today, it was like, it was a not a great practice i would say at least from an offensive standpoint um wasn't a whole lot of of big plays happening uh from the first team offensive standpoint some of the biggest plays uh came from you know second team guys joshua dobbs or brandon allen i think trent taylor had a really nice touchdown uh chris conley probably had the catch of the day was a deep bomb i mean the ball looked like it traveled over 60 yards Chris Conley just absolutely laying out and bringing it in for a beautiful catch. Uh, that by that was by far the biggest play of the day up until that point. Tay Martin came back to practice. He had a really nice diving catch down the left sideline. Um, other than that, it was just kind of ho-hum for the 49ers starting offense. Uh, it, it wasn't great. Looked like, you know, they're lacking a little juice out there at the wide receiver spot. You had some some decent connections. You know, Jawan Jennings caught a couple passes. He dropped one. Uh, George Kittle had a couple passes, dropped one. Um, D, uh, Brock had an interception, I believe it was. Was he have two? I think it was just one interception. But it was one of those interceptions where it just felt like he threw it up. You know, it was just like it wasn't the greatest practice from an offensive standpoint. So... We'll, we'll see if it was just kind of a down day or whatever. I, you know, it, we'd seen more a little bit more competitiveness out of the, the first string group. Just felt a little disjointed today. I mean, there was a there was a period within like, it felt like five minutes where Ronnie Bell got pulled to the ground and he got up really slow. After the Conley catch, uh, he gimped off the field and then right after that, Debo Samuel was off to the sideline, sitting down, getting work done. So I was like, oh my goodness. It felt like uh, some injuries were starting to pile up with the San Francisco 49ers. So, but thankfully all three returned to practice 
So uh, what didn't turn out to be a big deal or anything like that, but again, it's just kind of kind of scary when you see some guys potentially going down, especially at a position that feels really thin right now. So um, the the I would say the latest development with the with the starting offensive line is there's someone constantly rotating with Jake Brendel. Today it was Nick Sakel. No Feliciano out there. No Fred Warner. Uh, Daryl Luter looked like he might have got hurt during practice, so he went off to the side. Uh, Demetrius Flanagan Fowles wasn't practicing today. So there's a couple guys who weren't out there, but Nick Sakel can like rotated at it was like starting ran with the starters at one point multiple times um and so the the i don't know if it's a plan to keep brendel fresh or if they are really interested in maybe switching up at center i can't get a solid read on it because we've also seen when feliciano was healthy he was rotating at center dominic pooney continues to just have a strength he does not rotate with anyone um nick bosa had a day uh, Colton McKivitt started off pretty good in one-on-one periods. He had a win versus Floyd and Bosa in one-on-ones. But when it came to team period, uh, Bosa was giving McKivitt some fits. Also got Jalen Moore as well. You know, definitely had a handful of sacks. So uh, Bosa had a good day today. Um, trying to think off the top of my head who else was balling. I thought Braden Willis looked phenomenal in one-on-ones. He had this one catch, kind of Willie Mays-esque, had to over the shoulder, bring it in. Beautiful catch with tight coverage. Then he had another one against George Odom. It was Malik Mustafa in coverage on that one. Then George Odom was in tight coverage and he shook him, um, breaking out of his route and got open and made another good catch. I really like Braden Willis. I think Braden Willis is your number two wide receiver throughout training camp. Um, so that's one positive development from his growth from year one to year two. Uh, I still think the top three tight ends are Kittle, Willis, and Salbert. From this particular training camp, Logan Thomas didn't do anything when he was healthy. So um, I would go with Salbert at this point over Logan Thomas, but we'll see how the, the 49ers manage the tight end room we saw a lot of renardo green with the starters no isaac yadam out there mooney ward seldom used today i think just you know preserving him so we'll figure out what's going on with yadam because it did look like they're working out some dbs as well so again it was you had good plays on both sides of the ball just not a lot of rhythm today uh, especially with the starters you know similar things like we've seen you know Decent pockets in some instances where Brock just doesn't doesn't look like Brock has anywhere to go with the football. Um, so, you know, I attribute that to separation from the wide receivers. Uh, no Ricky Pearsall at practice today. He dinged up his shoulder. So, you know, uh, I, I wish it was a better practice for the offense. Uh, I would say it's a little disjointed. Uh, didn't feel like a much rhythm. Just wasn't just wasn't one of the better days. We've definitely seen the offense have uh, much better practices out here. So, uh, cause for concern, I would say no. But um, I think they do need to get get some help at wide receiver. So we'll see what that continues to look like. We'll see if they sign Robbie Bell, all that good stuff. And of course, we'll see what happens with Brandon Ayuk. But let me know what you guys think uh, about everything that's been going on let me know in the comments below and as always make sure to like and subscribe for more updates